अस्सलाम वालेकुम टुडे वी विल रीड अबाउट द टीबिया एंड फेब्यूला बोन टीबिया एंड फेब्यूला बोन प्रेजेंट इन हाइंड लिम्ब ऑफ स्केल्टन आफ्टर फीमर बोन द नेक्स्ट बोन इज टीबिया द टीबिया इज लॉन्ग बोन एंड टीबिया हैविंग टू एक्सट्रीमिटीज proximal extremity and distal extremity now we will discuss the features present on proximal extremities on proximal extremity on the cranial side a tuberosity present which is called tibial tuberosity tibial tuberosity when we move from tibial tuberosity towards the distal side the crust present which is called tibial crust tibial crust tibial crust present on the distal side of the tibial tuberosity there are two uh, saddle shaped condyle present on the proximal extremity of the tibia bone which articulate with the distal end of the femur bone and in between these two condyle eminence present which is called intercondylar eminence there is a fossa present between these two condyles are called intercondylar fossa which present in between these two condyles and these two condyles are separated by a notch which is called popliteal notch distal extremity having two cochlea which articulate with the trochlea of tarsal bones and the distal extremity have larger medial side than lateral side the tibia having greater proximal surface as compared to distal surface the tibia proximally articulate with the distal end of femur bone and laterally articulate with the fibula bone and tibia distally articulate with the tarsal bones now we will discuss about the fibula bone fibula bone having two extremities number 1 is proximal extremity and number second is distal extremities on proximal extremity head is present which articulate with the lateral condyle of tibia bone and distal extremity is free and is called lateral malleolus so this is tibia bone and this is fibula bone the tibia bone has two extremities this is proximal extremity and this is distal extremity on proximal extremity it proximally articulate with the femur bone while distally articulate with the tarsal bone and laterally articulate with the fibula bone now on the proximal end there are two condyles while this is intercondylar fossa these projections are known as intercondylar eminences and on the cranial side there is a tubercle which is known as tibial tubercle and this crust a crust is formed here which is known as tibial crust there is a notch which is known as popliteal notch as you can see there this is popliteal notch while on this is body shaft on the distal end of the tibial bone there are two condyles which articulate with tibial bone to tell the position of the bone tibia bone in the body we can easily identify the side of the bone as this tubercle is always present on the lateral side which articulate with fibula bone and this tuberosity is always present on cranial side